guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this end table if you are interested to learn how you can do this yourself just keep watching and I'll show you how to start the project out I started out with two bins that I got from Dollar Tree these are two white plain bins you can get them at any dollar store um, near you they're only a dollar you want to make sure that you peel the sticker um, from the back of the bin just so it doesn't mess with your spray paint or your glue. So just make sure you take that out first. You're then going to place your bin upside down because you're going to glue it to each other. I used my hot glue gun and my E6000 glue to glue the bins together. But then I noticed that it wasn't really sticking the way I wanted to, so I ended up using a super glue. So for this part, I will suggest that you use the strongest glue possible that you have. Maybe the Gorilla Glue or even maybe like construction glue because it holds a lot better. Just using your hot glue gun and the E6000 will not um, work. You need a very, very strong glue if you're going to do it this way. Another thing that you can do is if you um, have a screwdriver, you can drill um, on the sides of the bins and you can put a screw there to secure it. That way the bin won't move for sure because with the glue sometimes if it's not strong enough, the bin will move. But So it's up to you whatever preference you have. Just make sure that whatever you use, it secures the bin because you do not want your table to collapse or fall while you're using it. I then moved on to spray paint everything gold. I'm using the Rust-Oleum spray paint in the matte finish. And I got this spray paint from Lowe's. It was about $4 for the spray paint. It's not much for how much you get. It's kind of it's very good quality. So I would recommend that if you are going to use spray paint, use the Rust-Oleum. And don't mind me, I'm spray painting in my kitchen floor because I'm replacing my floors soon. So I don't really care about these floors. They look horrible anyway to me. Um, but make sure that you do open your windows when you do this because that smell is strong and you don't want it to affect you. I honestly would recommend that if you're going to spray paint, spray paint outside. It's safest to do so, but it was snowing where I'm living, so I couldn't do that. This is what it's looking like after it's almost dry. Not too bad. For the top of the table, I used this edge glued wood that I got from Lowe's. It cost me about $8 for this piece of wood, which actually is not bad. It's actually a very good price because it's real wood that I'm going to be using. And to attach the wood, I used the E6000 glue, and I also used my um, hot glue gun, and I used super glue. So you, you want to use, again, your strongest glue to hold the top of the table, which is going to be the wood and the bin. I also would suggest, if you can, drill screws on there so you can secure it very, very well with the screws a lot better than the glue. But I'm really only using this upstairs in my bedroom to place like a piece of, of picture frame. So it all depends on how you're going to be using your frame or your, your table. To show you guys how sturdy it is, I actually placed my um, toaster on top of it to see if it'll hold up. And yeah, it's holding up all right. And I think I'm going to let it sit there just a little bit so that glue can settle in and be um, a little tight and then I'll take it off but you can place something that's heavy on top of yours just so the glue can you know stick to the wood thank you so so much for watching this video if you did like it please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it actually does help me out a lot but I hope I see you in my next video and let me know if you try this I hope this video inspires you to try something new in your home